Hello, I'm Suzette Ramirez. Welcome to Tech Talk, the show where we highlight a person in the industry, a student or a teacher. Today we are joined by Alicia Monaco to discuss her job as a broadcast technician at C-SPAN. It's great to have you here today, Alicia. Thank you for joining me. Thanks so much for having me. What made you go into broadcast journalism? Sure. Um, I think I've always been interested in TV production and photography, but it was never something that I thought would be my clean, like, career path. And at 13 years old, I was a freshman in high school at Westwood High, and I had Mrs. Lazarski, your current teacher, as my high school teacher. Um, and I think it's something I kind of fell into by accident. She was teaching us video production, and she offered extra credit for going up to our local cable access station. And being the student that I was, I always liked getting extra credit. So I decided to go um, up to the cable access station and see what it had to offer. Uh, and I w never left. I stayed there for seven years. They let me be a camera operator. They let me be a host. They let me be a director. And it's really where I learned uh, the ins and outs of the broadcast industry. I was working with professionals who worked in the New York City area. Um, and they really helped me learn every aspect of the industry. That's great. Um, where did you go to school and what did you study? So after graduating Westwood High School in 2014, I went to the Catholic University of America in Washington, D.C. to study media and communications. And I also minored in Spanish while I was there. During my first two years, it was really focused on writing, journalism, film analysis. But my sophomore year, we had this required course to take. Um, it was basically another video production class. Uh, and I really fell in love again with film and video production. And I decided that was going to be my track. And that's what I was going to do for for the rest of my life, really. Um, and I went on to produce, shoot, edit, and create two short documentary films. And then um, I really stuck with it, and I really liked it. And when I graduated, I got a job as a studio technician at C-SPAN, a part-time job there, kind of fusing what I learned in college about production and also what I learned about media production for in a studio level from the community access station. I'm still with C-SPAN now. I, I have a new role at, as a master control operator technician assistant. What is it exactly that you do as a broadcast technician at C-SPAN? Sure. So master control at C-SPAN is really what keeps all of our programs on the air. C-SPAN 1 has mainly the house, um, our flagship program, the Washington Journal, and other live public affairs events. C-SPAN 2 has the Senate. C-SPAN 3 has other public affairs programming and um, often tape events. So what I do is I make sure the show goes on the air. We have a combination of a switcher and automation. We use the automation to roll our transitions between programs, which could be a, any combination of a still with a voiceover. The voiceover could be pre-recorded. The voiceover could also be live. So my job really actually includes working with voiceover artists as well as producers. There's a lot of collaboration to get you know, those programs on the air. And if we're in a live event, you're going to have a live announcer too. So there's a whole element of what move do I make to make sure that this goes on the air seamlessly, you know, that, that no errors happen, of course, and the way the producer wants it, and so that our consumers who are watching our flagship program, the Washington Journal, the House, the Senate, public affairs events, hearings on Capitol Hill, they all go out to our consumers in a, in a way, a, a packaged manner that um, is really seamless and professional. Interesting. Do you think being a woman has affected the experiences you've had in the field? Definitely. Um, on the industry as a whole, um, before coming to C-SPAN, I worked at ABC as a freelance intern photographer. Um, I worked at Fox Business, and I, now I work at C-SPAN. So I've kind of seen three different aspects of the industry, you know, photography, production, and the technical side of production. And something that I definitely noticed is that this industry, at least broadcast technology, is male-dominated for sure. And I think there's a huge call for women. I think there's a huge call for more diversity in the industry. And I, th I would really like to see that happen in the future. And I think, um, I really think that where I'm working now, everyone has a seat at the table, and it's a really refreshing idea. That's great. Um, what is some advice that you would give to a student thinking about going into the industry? Definitely. So as soon as you have that passion or that craving to understand what media production is or broadcasting in general, I would say get your hands on it. I was fortunate enough to have a community access cable station 
four blocks from my house in my hometown. And not everybody can say that they have that. So I had that resource at my fingertips from age 13. And I still have that resource today. When I come home to New Jersey to visit, I, I go back to that cable station. Um, if you don't have that resource, uh, I would recommend your education for sure. If you have a high school video production, photography, film class, I would recommend talking to that teacher or getting to take a class in that. Uh, if you don't have that resource, I would even say start shooting on your iPhone. You can produce anything off your iPhone. You know, you have a, a way to take pictures, a way to, to make movies. I would say practice that. Try to do principle, anything that, like, try to do... Try to, try to practice what you're doing now doing with your iPhone. Um, I think that you guys are on a great track. You have a great resource at your fingertips. I'm sitting here in your studio. You have three cameras. You have a control room, a soundproof booth. You have great resources at your fingertips, and I think you're putting them to great use. Um, and I think that all of you are doing the taking the necessary steps to go far in th this industry, and you should be very proud of yourselves. Thank you. That's some great advice. Well, thank you so much for having me. I wish all of you the best of luck. And if you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you. No, no problem. Um, that's about all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for joining us today on Tech Talk. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, the PCTI Television Production Channel. And follow us on Twitter at PCTI TV. For Tech Talk, I'm Suzette Ramirez, and thank you for watching.